Hey y'all, sorry back again with another video. And before I get into today's tea, I need y'all to run to Instagram and follow my page at RT Talk. Or if you're on Twitter, go ahead and follow me on there as well. Anyway, so today is Money Yaya, aka Ayana Mayweather's birthday. And you know her and her people, they went out to the club, but they did some very distasteful shit. Now, y'all remember in April 2020, Money Yaya went to jail because she was at NBA Youngboy's home with another one of his friends, girlfriends, whatever you want to call it. For whatever reason, an altercation broke out between her and the other girl whose name was LaPasha Jacob. Well, in the midst of the fight, Yaya ended up stabbing a girl, leaving her almost paralyzed. She can barely use her arm. Um, if you follow her on Instagram or on Twitter, she talks about how she's in agonizing pain all the time. She cannot put her hand down. You know, and all this other stuff. When Yaya did that to her arm, she severed her nerves. So the girl is going to be like that for the rest of her life. Because if you know anything about the human body, you know that nerves don't really go back how they once were. Now, due to the severity of the crime, she was facing up to 99 years in jail. Now, mind y'all, it's 2022. This happened way back in 2020. How about she pleaded guilty and, you know, she's going to only do 40 hours of community service as long as she does not do any harassing, threatening, or abusive contact with the girl that she stabbed. Which is crazy to me because if I pick up a knife and I stab somebody right now today, I'm not going to see my people. I'm not going to see my friends, my family, or nobody. I'm not going to be out in the club hanging out, flying to L.A., having fun, doing this and that for the next 30, 40 years. But you know what they say, money talk. So anyways, let's get back to today. Now, anyways, they went to the club last night and people were noticing like, hey, wait a minute, what is that on her shirt? Lo and behold, it is her picture of her mugshot of all things like, yeah, yeah. Miss Birkenbag Slayer, I only wear name brand. Why is this something that you want to wear? loud and proud it's kind of like you're antagonizing your victim like haha i'm out that's how i feel and that's how i see it and oh it didn't just stop there not only did she have one but she had a shirt made with her mug shot on for her son too like what ugh girl oh but hold on wait there's more everybody that attended the party had on one of her mug shot shirts like I don't get it. I can see if you was wrongfully convicted and you overcame some hard times, but you literally stabbed somebody over a dude who ended up having more kids after you, during you, while your son was on the way. Like, what? Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in today, especially if you stay to the end of the video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Don't forget to go to Instagram and follow my page where I post daily and follow my Twitter as well because you know Instagram be tripping and deleting people pages for no reason. But I'm always going to be on Twitter, period.